If you prove yourself a commendable servant of the church, I would also take that into account in judging Johanka's case. Okay. All right, Monsignor. I'll bear that in mind. I'll bear that in See mind. That is important. Okay, so I must report to you about anything. Okay, I feel like we have to talk to people. Sir Sebastian's testimony. Oh, let's deal with him first. Dog, you gotta move. Okay. And then we'll talk to the Inquisitor again later. The custodian is here. Guta's testimony? Okay, we're taking everyone's testimonies here. Uh... Is it behind this building? It is. Yeah, he's here. I remember this guy. Hey, are you gonna let me in? Welcome! Oh, come on. What are you trying on here? I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. What? Take no. Care. I need to talk to the custodian. What is this? Oh no, this is main quest stuff. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Wait, I have to. Nope. Nope. Wait, I have to. I exited out of the game as quick as I can and skipped everything so I didn't have to read that. But now I'm a. How am I going to get into the custodian? I'll do his last. I'll get everyone else's uh, testimony first in case I have to kind of combine the two quests together in a way. Let's get everyone's testimony. Hen Brother Nicodemus. You've heard something? The Inquisitor has decided that Yohanka will be tried, but he's agreed that I can defend her. That's really quite unusual. It must mean he hasn't come to a clear conclusion yet. Yes. I'll get her out of it. I'm afraid it may not be that easy. The thing is, I expect Johanka will say the same things before the court that she's been preaching. What are you saying? Well, I've been thinking about what she's been saying, and it seems to me her preaching has a certain progression. Are you acquainted with the notion of the three orders of man? Not really. Not really, no. It's like this. It's said that everyone has their God-given place and purpose on Earth. Laboratores, Oratores, and Bellatores. Those who work, those who pray, and those who fight. The common folk are born to work, to reap the fruits of the Earth, and to obey the laws of God and man. It is the purpose of the nobles to protect the people and the Church against all dangers, and to maintain peace and justice on Earth. And the Church, in turn, has the task of caring for the spiritual welfare of all, ensuring the salvation of their souls, and bringing solace to the people in times of hardship, so that they can endure their earthly trials and enter the Kingdom of Heaven. But what's all that got to do with Yohanka? Well, I noticed in her first sermon she primarily addressed the concerns of the common folk, and in the second, she criticised the nobility. I see where you're going. Uh. Okay. So you think she might start talking about the church? Yes, I'm afraid she might. I dread to think how that might end up. Oh, Henry, God. you must warn her against that. She must show humility before the Inquisitor, and the wisest course would be to admit to being wrong. She's rather stubborn, but perhaps she'll listen to you. Okay. But the Inquisitor said no one's allowed to see her. No one except the Inquisitor's own men. Oh, you will just Ooh. have to think something up. I can trust I'm afraid your hanker's fate is mainly in your hands now. I'm relying on you. See you later. Okay, so got it. Wait, I need your testimony though. Testimony in court. Witnesses can be summoned for Yahanka's trial. So I wanted to ask you if you'd give a testimony. Maybe some learned speech in her defense? I'd be glad to do it. Yohanka deserves my help. Okay, Such good. testimonies could carry a lot of weight. You should try and get as many as you can. Okay, doing that. Good luck then. Okay, that is Sebastian. We'll deal with that later. Who else is here? Adela. Is she upstairs? Is she in here?
Adela, are you in here? Is she downstairs? She must be downstairs. What? Huh? Oh, there you are. Adela, the Inquisitor is going to try Johanka in court. Oh, Lord. I hope she's acquitted. I was absolutely devastated when they took her away. I need people to speak in her defence, and I'd like to ask you to do it. I don't want to go there, really. I'm afraid of that Inquisitor. Oh, it's okay, me too. You helped me, and so did Johanka. It's only right that I should try and help her. But what am I supposed to say there? I'm just a simple village girl. I don't know anything about these things. That doesn't matter. You just be yourself. It should be enough to talk about all the good Johanka does here, and how she helps others. I'll send for you if you're needed. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay. That's all good. Let's find more people in the town. Who else can I talk to? I could talk to the people at the church that we made the donation to. The Pavel guy. Oh, maybe he's here. Oh yeah, he is. There he is. Pavel. Johanka's trial. Goodman Pavel, you're still here. That's a relief. I was afraid I'd miss you. Yes, yes, still here, but not for long. I had some business to deal with, but now that's out of the way and I'm getting ready to leave. What not was yet, it you though. wanted? You might have heard that Johanka was arrested by the Inquisitor and is facing trial. Indeed, word has reached me. Poor girl. I'd like to ask you to speak to the court in Johanka's defense. Of course, Henry. You have my word. And the word of a burger of Colleen ought to mean something. But to speak in defense of someone accused of heresy is no small matter. What do you want me to say? Just the same the thing truth. you told me. That it was a sacred sign that you happened to be nearby when Johanka was speaking, and so on. True. I'll tell the bishop that. You can rest assured. Thank you very much. Please wait here a few more days for the court to convene, then I'll send for you. All right. For Johanka's sake, I'll wait. Take care. I need to speak to Johanka, I think. I really do. I just have to find a way to do it without angering the Inquisitor. Yeah. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'll talk to everyone that I need to get a testimony from first. And then there's Guta, the... The wife of the tailor. Oh! <coughs> Sorry. Okay, let's get her testimony. Welcome. Well? How did it go with that husband of mine? Oh, I forgot well, to go back to you. Well, we sat down and talked, and in the end, I talked him out of playing dice. Did you? Mother of God, that's wonderful news. How on earth did you do it? This is how it would tell her everything. Look here, I'll tell you what happened, but you mustn't breathe a word of it. All right. Ambrose got really drunk. I took his money, and in the morning, I told him he'd lost it all at dice. He took it really hard, and he promised he'd never gamble again. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, if you think he really means it... I'm not and sure. what about the money? Did you give it back to him? Yeah, I gave it back to him so he can buy what he needs. That's wonderful. Thank you, Henry. I need your help with something. I'm sure you've heard... Your hanker was locked up by the Inquisitor. Who hasn't? 
The whole of Sasso is talking about it. And the Inquisitor was asking around about her. I'd like to ask you to appear before the court and say something in Johanka's defence. I can't say I'm keen on going there. But Johanka helped me. And you did too. I think it's only right that someone should say something good about her. Ah, thanks, Guta. I appreciate it. I'll send for you when it's time. Okay, I think we can go to the parish priest as well. Probably. Ah, yeah, there's a marker there. I'm trying to think who we did favors for without opening my log just from memory and then I'll, I'll get around to the other stuff. All right, priest, need your help. Oh. Good luck then. Oh, you, different priest. Father, the Inquisitor has had Yahanka thrown in jail. I know, son. He's planning a hearing. Rightly so. It's about time this whole matter was dealt with. What? What do you think about it then? As I say, it's a good thing that the matter is being investigated. The things Johanka has been preaching are, to say the least, disturbing. Well, I regret Who knows donating what money here then. that she speaks of, and her words are only putting ideas in people's heads and leading them astray. Now, instead of going to church as they should, they go to her in the false belief that they will find solace. It's creating a chasm between the people and the church and leading them away from the true teaching left to us by Christ. They're misguided and swamped in heretical ideas. Were you the one that outed her? Johanka is no heretic. But Johanka is no heretic. She's a good, kind girl who's only trying to do the right thing. I'll defend her. Suit yourself. But mind you don't get ensnared in her fallacies. And You're just to jealous. The bishop to judge the matter. Of course. See you later. You suck. You only have that money because of me. And Johanka. Who else have we got? Oh, try to speak. Oh, bailiff. The bailiff. Okay. Guy, I need to talk to you. Hey. Guy. Mm -hmm. Master Bailiff, Inquisitor Yaroslav is going to try your hunker. I know. He was here asking questions, too. Oh? What did he want to know? Various things, like how things are here. Whether people are honest, whether we observe the fest days, and so forth. And then he asked about Johanka, about what she preaches, whether people come to listen to her and that. He's been talking to a lot of other people in Sasau too. I even heard that Katra, the swordsmith's wife, invited him to dine with them. That's interesting. Thanks for telling me. Was he just asking questions, or does he want you to testify before the court? Yes. He did ask me to testify, and I'm none too happy about it. I see. And what are you going to say about her? It depends what I'm asked, but there's not much I can say. I don't know your hunker very well. She seems virtuous and self-sacrificing to me. She's never done anything wrong, and no one here ever had a cross word to say about her. Until recently. Maybe some gossip about her and Sir Sebastian. But I've heard similar talk about half the women folk here. She's helped a lot of people. Johanka has helped a lot of people here, selflessly. Her heart is in the right place. True. But then there's that preaching of hers. Folk have been falling out. They're split according to whether they believe Johanka or not. I don't know quite what to think of it myself. But I don't want to jump to conclusions. I'll wait and see what the learned bishop has to say. Will you speak on her behalf? Oh, I'm not going to pay him for that. No. No, that's not a good idea. Oh, is it?
I feel like this is like a test of like doing the right thing and bribing someone is not. Mm. Thank you no. for speaking openly, Master Bailiff. I don't want to piss him off. Wait, wait, can I can I talk to him though about talking to Johanka? God's blessing. It doesn't bother you that your own men are fine. That's nothing to do. Okay, no. That's nothing to do with her. Is Johanka here somewhere? Where is she? Is she upstairs? Where is she being held? Excuse me. Oh. Fish me the rollen. Oh, survive for him. Bomushi, bom, mojishli. Moya na leishi. Ya sine mojem. Hey, I'm trying to. That's not Johanka. But I think she's in here. I, I think she's in there. Shit, how am I going to get in there? How am I going to get in there? Huh? Ah. Wait, guard, I need to talk to you. Talk. No, not the scribe. I'm honored that you should come to No. I'm trying to talk to the guard. Ah. Uh. My god, what happened to you? You look like you've been assaulted. Yeah, I'll, I'll wash up. Oh. See you later. How the hell am I gonna get in there? I have a feeling she's in there. There. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Yeah. Sneaky sneaky later. Okay, I'll sneak in later. But for now. Father Fabian was right to warn us about them. See how far it's gone now? Mother of God! Take okay, they're all talking about Conrad. I I'm worried about this part. I'm gonna make a save before. Talk to Katra. I'm gonna make a save before uh, going into where the custodian is and we might have to overlap the two quests a little bit which means that i should ask for the physician now because that's the only optional quest i have left for siege oh the herbalist well maybe i should go do that too just in case we might have to overlap a few things this is uh, a little bit messy but doable Because it seems that the the Conrad guy is where the custodian is. I don't want to progress the siege one without um, finishing. I, I don't want to progress the Conrad one without finishing the siege part. I'm here about your hunker. You're that fella of hers, are you? What do you want? Uh, no, I'm just a friend of hers. Matthias is her um her fella. Huh. God knows how many she has. Excuse me. I heard you me. invited Bishop Yaroslav to come and dine with you. Yes, so what? Bishop Yaroslav is an esteemed visitor to Sasso, and it's only fitting he should be suitably hosted by devout burghers. Oh, what do you have against Johanka? What have you got against Johanka? Nothing. The question is, what has she got against us? Tell me that. What? She turns up here and tries to tell us how to live our lives, says the Virgin Mary whispers to her in the night. Yeah, I'm sure, to a simple village wench. I'd like to know who's really putting those ideas in her head. She's just getting people all worked up, men especially. Ah, oh, you're jealous. Coming around here with her nonsense. Sasso is a decent, orderly place, I'll have you know. 
We don't want any trouble here. All this talk about hellfire and the end of the world. God of mercy. No one is interested in what she has to say. All they want is some spectacle. She ought to have thought twice before she well, started. Well, you had a lot to say. Not that she wasn't warned. Warned how? What do you mean, warned? As I said, she was told. Explain? Tell me everything you know. I represent the royal hetman, so don't try and keep anything from me. If you must know, some of the fellas went to have it out with her and tell her to stop. Ah, uh, no those guys. No one wants speeches here. But would she listen? No. The devil possessed her to bring harm to us. So it was you who sent those men? All I wanted <gasps> was to protect the Sasso Fork against her poisonous tongue. And you, I'll do you just awful. that. The Monsignor asked me to testify in court. And I'll tell everything I know there. And I'll do likewise. Farewell. She Go. set those thugs against her? I hate... Oh, this woman sucks. S you suck. Pih. Ew, I don't like her at all. Custodian. Okay. Huh. Let's let's do this one. Um, uh, this is kind of messy, but I'm worried about like progressing. Uh, the God, I have too many too many mint. I don't remember how many I needed. I'm worried about progressing the siege, the war machine, without finishing the siege. So let's do this. Oh, I don't have enough mint. I don't know. I can't remember how many I had in my bag. It's good enough. All right, I have all of that. I need to get a physician, so the physician is... this guy. There's gonna be a little bit of traveling around and... not necessarily rushing, kind of rushing, because he said the trial will be in three days and I still need to talk to Johanka. And I still need to talk to Sebastian, but hopefully I can get yeah. this part done swiftly. Getting the herbalist and the physician. I should have fi just finished it. I don't know why I didn't. And then it'll be safe to possibly talk to Conrad if, if that is the case that I have to speak with him to get to the custodian. I have to go to Tallenberg immediately. I need a physician. I need help. I'll come to ask for help. Again? Such trying times we live in. God is testing us all. So what is it you need? Their lordships have laid siege to Talmberg, and the brigands have wounded Sir Divish and many other people. I'm to ask if the monastery might send. Oh, this might help. also break it. I need him for testimony. These are tragic times. Oh, I'm probably breaking the game. Fortunately, I have only a little work left to do here, so I'll gather my things and set off for Tongberg. Thank you, Father. May God reward you a thousand times. Good luck then. Okay, I'm just gonna make a, a different save here. One that is messed up. Possibly, possibly messed up. We shall see, though. I'm screwing around with where people are. Um, let's go to this lady. How much time do I have? Okay. Ride like the wind, be back by nightfall. Sneak in, talk to Johanka. And then deal with the custodian tomorrow. Yeah. We got this. Oh, I truly hope that this quest works out. <laughs> ah, I I did not fall for that. I heard your crocodile tears from a mile away. Damn it, I went the wrong way. Like I went the long way, not the wrong way. Sorry. I wonder if I can just cut cut through here. Good lord, my horse is still not tired. 
Ugh, it never pays to go through the forests. Better just stick to the roads. Get stuck on everything in the forest, like rocks and bushes and all that. Okay, I wonder if my horse can jump the river. Oh yeah, easy. Oh damn it. Okay, no time to waste. <laughs> oh man, I should have finished the siege first. And I was in this area, I should have just talked to the herbalist lady. While I was here. Was done is done, and I'm making the best out of it. To try and make this, uh, work. Time is of the essence. Let's go, lady. Make me these things for Tom. God be with you. What can I do? Very well. So what goes into the brew? At least two handfuls of... I got right. it. I got it. I gathered everything. I've gathered up all we need. Excellent. This will probably do the trick. And do you have the wormwood? Yep. Here it is. Fine, fine. I'll get started. It's going to take a while. May the Lord watch over you. Oh, I can't wait until the potion's brewed. We got we got places to be. Uh, let's see. How do I do this? Hmm. He will not wait any longer than three days. I got an idea. I will go back here, and then I will sneak in at night. Yeah. I'll pass time, so that it's closer to nightfall. So I can talk to Yohanka. At least talk to her. And then we'll see whether we can do the custodian. I wonder how bad it will be if I can't actually talk to the custodian. But if I have to talk to Conrad and just kind of like move that quest along, I'm totally fine with it. Whatever helps. Whatever helps, Yohanka. Okay, it's almost nightfall. Uh, we can sleep, just so that I'm not lacking in, yeah. in energy. What? Oh, objective completed. Yeah. I was like, what? I'll change into sneaky clothing. There's no way to talk to Yohanka that I can think of other than sneaking in there. It's a bit dishonest though, isn't it? a little bit dishonest. Hmm. Is this wise? Is it wise, though, for me to be doing this? It seems a little dishonest for me to be sneaking around, and he said he doesn't want me speaking to her already. But I don't see any other way. <laughs> Maybe like midnight? We're still on the first day, so we're good. Ooh. I'm worried that the, I'm s Yohanka is not gonna... Not gonna get through this no matter what I do. Not no matter what I do, but I feel like I've already... What is that? What is that buff that I have? What are seven mile boots? Oh, right. Clean conscience. You sleep better with a clean conscience and with the weight of, off your mind, of your mind, you can learn things faster. Oh, cool. Okay, I've had some sleep. Ah, oh, God. It worries me having this jaunty music at night when I'm trying to be sneaky. It's too jaunty. Is this the best way to go about it? I didn't see it. I was hoping to talk to the guards or the bailiff to let me in, but I wasn't given that option. 
see any other way in, and it sucks. Okay. This way. Oh god, I hope this works. It's so freaking dark. I'm gonna get caught. No, I'm gonna go upstairs. Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't go upstairs. Oh. out in the open here. Oh, not wash myself. I want to talk to my dog to make my dog stay out here. Wait here for me. <laughs> stay. There is a guard coming this way. Yeah, there he is. Where are you going? Where are you going to go upstairs? Let's see. This is a bad idea. Who are you? The bailiff. Scribe. Oh god, I'm so nervous. Oh god. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Where is it? I can't see anything. I can't see anything. She's not even in here. What? Where are they keeping her? <laughs> Hello, where is Johanka? What? Where are they keeping her? Is she in here? Huh? Oh my god, is she in here? Hello? 
Hey, clear off. Sorry. No one's allowed to talk to your hunker. Bishop Yaroslav's orders. Sorry, I'll be going. Oh God. Sorry, I'll be going. I apologize. I didn't know that. I'll be going. Go then. Don't come snooping around here again. God be with you. There must be another way. There is no other way. Oh, do I just tell him the bishop came? Oh my god. Is he gonna go? Is there a way to like lure you out? Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Oh god, what am I gonna do? What if I walk in here? What if I wait here? I'm gonna see if he goes anywhere. Or if he really just stands there. I'm... Mm. I want to talk about your hunker. Alright. I'm from the bishop. I know. I was just testing you. And you passed. I'm with the bishop's entourage, and I'm here at his command. Let me in to talk to your hunker. In that case, you surely know that everyone who comes from the bishop has to show a document to prove it. Good, good. Your diligence is commendable. I don't have the document on me at present, though. I left it at the monastery. I did. Sorry, sir. We'll have to go and get it. I can't let you in otherwise. I wouldn't want to anger the Monsignor. Of course. Where is this document? And you can actually read, can you? A little, sir, yes. That's why they put me here. Of Very course you can. You're clearly the right man for the job. Very well. I'll be back soon with that paper. What paper? Goodbye. What paper? God damn it. I forgot to have my torch out. What paper? Okay, this seems this seems like I'm doing a bad thing now. But I need to talk to Johanka. The he, the the physician was quite like he said, you need the paper. I need that paper. What paper? Oh god, am I gonna sneak around the monastery? Ooh, I don't like sneaking in the monastery. I'm so traumatized. Is it where the bishop is? Oh god, I'm stealing from the bishop. This is a bad idea. This is not... Okay. Uh, ooh, I don't know. I don't know about this. Where the hell is my horse? Okay, my horse doesn't want to come. There you are. Oh, this seems like yeah. a bad idea. But, if otherwise Yohanka might go crazy and do more speeches against the church. I mean, she's not so dumb in that she'd actually do that, would she? Would she speak against the church while the, the Inquisitor is right there? That just seems foolish. Oh god, don't tell me it's upstairs. Don't tell me it's up here. It is, isn't it? It is. Oh no. Where's this paper? Let's close that. Please be in here. It's not in here. He was sleeping the whole time. Oh god, thank god that unlocked. Is this it? Yep. 
Okay. Huh. What was that? Ooh. Oh my god. That scared me. Okay. I think that's it. Oh my god. Woo! That guy was coming upstairs. Hey, who's there? Nobody. Uh, that's uh, what you're doing! Uh, There's people you... walking! Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Did they know that I was in there? Do they know? I'm scared. I'm scared to look. Oh! I went inside here again. I panicked. I panicked and ran over people. What, what are they doing? Yeah. Walking around in the middle of the night. Ooh, that was that was scary. And that was that's foolish. He's gonna know. He's gonna know. Ah. Uh, yeah. I'm hoping he doesn't though. This is dishonest of me. Will my word be like forfeit for this dishonesty? But this is like, Johanka, I need to tell her to just not. Here's a document. See? Oh my god. Do Show I me put that? it back? That's fine. Thank you, sir. Mm. Take care. I feel like this is this is a point where I did something bad. If I ruined it, it's Johanna, because of this, what I just did, on. stealing this document. Yes. Henry, I'm fine. I'm glad to see you. I spoke to the Inquisitor. She looks messed up. He wants to put you on trial. I know. It's all in God's hands now. Did they beat her no, up? No, it's not. I mean, it is, of course. But the bishop has allowed me to defend you. You want to defend me? Thank you. Henry, that's very kind of you, but you needn't bother. Our lady won't let anything bad happen to me. I am her instrument, and I am completely in her hands. Oh, girl, don't talk like Everything this, please. Everything that's happening is her sacred will. But I won't stand by with my arms folded. You need someone to testify for you. As I said, I will defend you. If you insist, maybe it's the will of the Virgin that you came to me. So be it then. I did the pilgrimage. I went to Ujits, like you asked. That's good, Henry. I hope you purged yourself of your sins. Yeah, but I, I just did, the did pilgrimage one now. of penance, like you I said. Stole. And in the church, I begged the Virgin Mary for forgiveness. And she will bless you, Henry. You're a good man. Remember that. And don't stray into wrongdoing again. Oh no, I this won't. is a hint. I did it again. I strayed I into wrongdoing. I made a donation to the church, too. And the parish priest there, Father Godwin, he was asking about you. Was he? Well, what did you tell him? Oh, just about everything that's going on and the things you were saying. He was quite moved by it, to tell the truth. He even gave me some writings. You see? Maybe Our Lady is giving you a sign, too. We have to flee? No. What did the bishop talk to you about? What did Bishop Yaroslav ask you about? All sorts of things. Like how the Virgin Mary visits me, what she shows me, and about preaching to the people. Actually, he was really quite pleasant. That's he good. asked me about scallets, whether I go to church, and a lot of other things. And in the end, he told me I mustn't speak in public again. About the visitations and that. But I couldn't obey an order like that. Oh. The Blessed Virgin is testing me. And I have to do what she asks. No matter who or what stands in the way. I'd say he wasn't too happy about that. Who am I to that. stand in the way then? No. He came there with his men. Dispersed the people. And had me arrested and locked up here. About the trial. About that trial? Yes. The trial. You mustn't provoke the bishop. 
I'll get some people who will testify for you in court. But Brother Nicodemus is worried you'll say things that will make the Inquisitor angry. Please don't do that. You have to talk to him respectfully, answer his questions with humility, and not say anything to annoy him. And don't say anything against the church or priests. Please. I'll say only what the Blessed Virgin oh, wants no, me she's, to say. She's going to say whatever she wants. Please listen to Johanka, me, please. please. You mustn't say anything against him or the church. Be contrite. Maybe even admit you might have been wrong about some things. Oh no, I, I don't, don't know think if I the like Inquisitor this. is so bad. If you submit to him, he'll drop the charges. You too now. No. You're oh. speaking exactly the same as his assistant. The two of you joined forces against me, did you? No. I've nothing to do it's not with like him. that. I didn't even know he was here. Believe me, I'm really trying to help you. You don't believe me anymore. I know I do you. I believe you. I do, Johanka, I believe you. But in court, you must speak reasonably, prudently. A lot depends on it. Maybe even your life. I feel like I'm betraying her. I appreciate her. your concern for me, Henry. Really, I do. But you must understand. I can't deny that the Virgin Mary visits me or what she wants to tell us. Not now. After everything that's happened, I can't. Otherwise, she won't heal Matthias. But you Your have to consider yourself won't heal and what's Matthias good for you. either. Surely you don't want to be convicted of heresy. That won't do anyone any good, neither you nor Matthias. I've already told you. Everything is in the hands of the Blessed Virgin. <sighs> I will accept with humility the fate she grants me. A oh, sacra. This is going to be a right mess. Okay, I... I can't do anything more about that. I should stand by her. If she wants to really preach about the Virgin Mary and all of that, I... I can't... I can't betray her word. I'm trying to be... Apart from stealing these documents to talk to her, but it was necessary. I need to talk to her. I'm trying to be as honest as possible and hopefully that honesty goes a long way. But it's seriously trying. Um... What's this? Freak, he's far. <sighs> By the time I get there, it's morning, and then I can talk to her, him and then come back here. I was like, why is he there? I don't want to travel at night. I fast travel when it's nighttime because it's, it's too difficult. Oh god, I'm very close to the siege. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, no one shot at me. Maybe they're all sleeping. Yeah. So yeah, the quest got kind of broken. <laughs> Not broken, but I have to do a lot more traveling around because Brother Nicodemus is here and then Father Godwin was not where he's supposed to be. So I see what people meant um, by people not being where they're supposed to be and it could, could ruin it, but so far it's been okay. It's just more traveling. Oh, there he is. I spoke to Yahanka. And did you manage to convince her? I'm afraid not. She's stubborn. She says she answers only to the Blessed Virgin. Oh dear, Henry. That's not good at all. What about her family? Doesn't she have a relative she might listen to? No. None of them survived the raid on Scalitz. She has no one at all left in the world? Poor child. Do you believe Johanka? Do you believe Johanka is really being visited by the Virgin Mary? Well, yes, Henry, I do. The things she says and the way she speaks. She That's doesn't all I sound need to like know. Oh, you all. already said this. Frankly. Okay. So these are things he already talked about. Good luck. I wonder if the alchemy project is done.
the only person left is really the Sir Sebastian. Hmm. I wonder if I wait here what'll happen. Let's wait here until like noon to see whether the potion is done. Not yet? Okay, let's pass more time and go to the monastery. Wait, I'll make a save in case it does complete while I'm while I'm out and about. I just want that potion to be done so that if I start the Conrad thing, it doesn't ruin anything. I'm trying to time this all really well, not just for a story flow, but so that nothing uh, gets too out of whack. Oh! The potions did. Okay, so... So I just had to wait a little longer. Alright. Let's go do that. So at least the siege is done. Maybe I have to wait like another... I don't know... Three hours? Four hours? How long did it take me to get there? About three or four hours? Sorry if I reloaded that. that. That's like... I'm just trying not to break anything. I don't usually like reloading stuff. Uh, let's just head there. Maybe if I stand in front of the potions lady. There we go. Potions lady is done. Perfect. This is working out quite well. Oh, Hanish. What are you doing walking around here? It's dangerous. So close to the bandits. Not bandits. The invaders. Un without an escort. And without your armor. Herb lady. <laughs> I parked my horse funny. God save. What can I Okay, have you brewed so, it? Is the concoction ready? All done. Hey. Here, take the keg. I won't be lugging a heavy great thing like that around myself. Thank you for your help. Well, best of luck, lad. Now, I need a rest. Yeah, I bet you worked all night on that. Okay, give it to the quartermaster and then we can head back to Sasao. Oh no. Oh no. I saw that coming and I still did it. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Taking shortcuts is uh, always a big risk. Oh wait, not here? Where do I bring it? Oh. I bring it there. I thought I had to bring it to the quartermaster. It makes sense though to bring it here. This is where the sick and injured are and the soldiers that need to stay awake. give it to do I give it to you God be with you Henry who, who do I give it to oh do I give it to someone else Someone's walking around here. Oh! I'll be with you. This ought to help with your sleepy soldiers. What's in it? It stinks to hell. Yes, and it's hellish potent too. A drop in the evening, and you won't fall asleep till just before noon. Really? I hope it does the job, and that it doesn't give them a run in the process. I hope not too. Hopefully not. But if it does, well, it's hard to sleep with the runs, isn't it? True enough. You're not much good as a guard when you're squatting in the bushes. Mm. Goodbye. Oh, I completed all of the objectives. Okay, so we're now going to go to Sasao. Uh, I should be wearing my armor. I'm traveling. What is wrong with me? Oh, man, not my helmet, though. I wish there was, like, an auto... auto equip your loadout. That would be nice. I'll see you guys back at Sasao. I am somewhat a little bit lost. I took a wrong turn and I have no idea where I am. Oh my god, and I'm stuck. 
I'm just gonna head straight. I don't know where I am. I've just like gone. I don't know. I got distracted. I was in, deep in deep in thought. I don't want to open my map. I want to just go. Oh wait, that's the burning. That's the burning building. Okay, from there. Oh here, I'm I'm near Merhoyed. Yeah. Okay, I kind of know where we are. Never mind. Yeah, I was just like deep in thought about <laughs> if I screwed things up with Yuhanka in that I didn't convince her thoroughly to relax about um, talking of the Bir Virgin Mary, the visions. Uh, oh, I'm hungry. But who am I to tell her? Who am I to tell her that she can't say what she wants to say? I don't want to silence her. I'm just... It might be one of those things where she has sealed her own fate. And that sucks. It's a little upsetting. I don't want to silence her. She truly believes in what she's saying. And in a way, I believe her. Not in that there's a divine being speaking to her, but in that... She has good intention. Of course, it's kind of like she's she's trying to make people believe that she has this direct communication with with the Virgin Mary, and I have I have issue with that. Obvious, like you know, I yeah, I have issue with that because you know, I honestly think it's her guilt and trauma. She keeps bringing up that if she doesn't do this for the Virgin Mary, then Matthias will never heal, and that's clearly speaking from a place of guilt. And regardless of, is it, it's one of those things like, do, do the ends justify the means? Is it, is it good to, to bring people in on her word that she sees the Virgin Mary to make them a, live a better life? Which is, it's good, they're living a better life, a more virtuous life, but it's a little bit dishonest because it's not actually the Virgin Mary. It's her guilt. I don't know, it's a really hard one. And so, other than me stealing those documents, I'm trying to be as as honest as possible with this and see see what happens. And sometimes honesty doesn't get you get you where you want, get you the results you want. I, I'm worried about that. So we just have one more person to talk to, the custodian. And if once we talk to the custodian, that'll be it. Welcome, Henry! I oh, come on. What are you trying on here? <sighs> okay, let's save. The siege is done, right? Yeah, it's just help Master Feyfar. Let's get rid of that. We're only on this right now. I don't know where... Sir Sebastian is, is really through here. I hope that I can be of help to you, Knight. Aren't you getting a bit bored here? Don't you find it dull here? Why do I have to tell him he's a bit bored? <sighs> it's hell on Earth. Especially as escort guards. I wish we could go back to Bethlehem. Does Conrad Kaiser live here? Does Conrad Kieser live here? Kieser. Lives, writes, and works. That's our Conrad. I might have to progress this quest. Alright, here we go. Can I see Conrad? Can I come in and talk to him? You'll have to ask Urban about that. He's in command of the guard. He should be by the main door or you'll find him in the tavern of an evening. Okay, but I I I always talk to him. Okay, fine. Hey, God Urban. save you. What can I do for you? Is this where Conrad Kieser lives? Indeed. The world-renowned Conrad Kieser. Here we are, combining two quests again. World-renowned? World-renowned? If not yet, then soon. Our Master Kieser is a mastermind. You wouldn't believe the things he comes up with. You'll be hearing more of him. You mark my words. I'm intrigued. I'm excited to meet this guy. I need to speak with him. I need to speak to him. Oh, really? Whatever for? 
Uh, I was sent by Tobias Fayfar. Tobias Fayfar has sent me. He is asking Master Conrad for help with the Siege of Talmberg. Hmm, must be important then. Go in. Although I don't know how he can help from here. Here's the key. Oh. Goodbye. Damn, can I can I ask you where the custodian <coughs> is? Where is the custodian? He's in here. He's definitely in here. Maybe he's upstairs? Maybe I don't even have to do that part. Oh, we think he's upstairs. Oh, he is. Great. Okay, so we don't have to do that yet. How come I didn't... I, hmm, I didn't even see the stairs. Damn it. I know about you and Johanka. I know about you and her. She told me everything. Oh? What exactly do you mean? I hate this guy. He's so slimy. You'd better be very careful what you say, boy. Oh, I still have to be careful, though. You slept with her. I know you're a married man. But you haven't always been entirely faithful to your wife. How dare you! And you had to pick Johanka. I know all about it. And you should know it's finished. Johanka was feeling vulnerable when... when it was all too much for her. That's all. She and Matthias care for each other, so leave them alone. Wait, should I be saying she this? doesn't want this to have anything more to do with you. And she won't. How dare you oh speak my God, I like that to Henry. a noble? You, a blacksmith's brat from Scullitz. If you weren't in Lord Kobila's charge, I'd have you whipped for your lies and dragged behind a horse all the way to Ritai. But whoever you might be hiding behind, next time I'll do just that. Now get out! Shit. May the Lord I went too you. far. Oh my god, every time I always think that Henry's gonna be chill about it and he he was not. He was I'm not chill. I'm honored that a knight such as oh. you takes an interest in me. <laughs> He's like automatically like, okay, cool. I need something from you, sir. I suppose you heard that Johanka was locked up by the Inquisitor and is facing charges of heresy. I did, and it's most disturbing news. What you might not know is that he's agreed that I can defend her at the trial. You? Do you even know what to say? Of course. Sure I know. I, I like It'll that he's like, okay fine. with me now. Trust me, but I need you to testify at the court. In Johanka's defense, of course. Naturally. You don't think I could just sit here and do nothing? <laughs> Besides, the bishop has already insisted that I appear before the court. Oh. All right. One moment. I apologize if I was a little hasty. This whole affair has left me anxious. Okay, I, I appreciate understand. that you want to defend her. However, I don't think it would have any effect. No offense, but I don't think you'll be able to achieve anything in court. I'm afraid the Inquisitor will judge as he sees fit, whatever anyone says. But I have an idea how you could help. Oh. How? How's that? Flee. With your hanka, of course. Oh no. That's not a good idea. No, she will not agree to that. That's not a good idea. No, I don't think that's a good idea. She will not want to. I'm sure your hanka will be acquitted by the court and everything will be all right. Running would just confirm the Inquisitor's suspicions and she'd always be looking over her shoulder. I don't agree. As I said, I don't believe you can affect the outcome of the court. If Johanka flees, yes, she'll have to lie low for a while. But in time, it will all blow over. You can take her anywhere, as long as it's far enough from here. A girl like that will always find her feet. She can easily hide out somewhere where she's not known. Maybe there could even be a place for her on my estate. Think about it. But whatever you decide, if Johanka comes to any harm... You'll have me to answer to. I'm very fond of her, and her of me, and I don't want anything to happen to her, understand? But if everything ends well, I'll show you my gratitude, I assure you. God be with you. What the hell? No. He basically wants me to kidnap her, because she's not going to want to come. She's not going to want to flee. And I don't think it would be very honest of her to flee when we're trying to do the virtuous thing. But she just, he wants her in his estate so he can hide her there and and con and continue to, I don't know, do something to her. No, it's fine. <laughs> what is it? You want to go outside? Yeah. <laughs> you sound so cute. Hold on, my cat wants to go outside. Okay, here we go. 
we're gonna we're gonna start this I think I think we have we have done everything we could I can't this I can't I can't make her go against what she wants to say I don't want to silence her I already tried to appeal to her and she didn't want to there have been some suspicious activities Monsignor, Ooh. I've heard of various irregularities in the province that might be of interest to you very good my son a good christian certainly shouldn't conceal such things please speak oh no how about this the devil's skull at the church a demon's skull was found on the church building site hmm. yes i heard something about it a disturbing report tell me what you know about it it was a deception, sir. Someone made it with evil intentions to frighten people. I found the skull and brought it to the local knacker. He confirmed it was a human skull with animal horns stuck on. You did the right thing, Henry, <laughs> in uncovering the deception and in telling me about it. I'm not going to tell him about Father Godwin. I like that guy. And I think this is the Ujits women that were praying in the forest. I don't want to get them in trouble either. Irregularities inside the monastery walls. Let's there do that one. There are interesting things going on inside the monastery. In the monastery? What kind of thing? The circators. Intrigues over the election of the abbot. The circators are drinking. The circators get drunk on wine and play dice in the monastery cellars at night. But how do you know about it? How does a servant of the royal hetman come by knowledge of the confidential affairs of the Brotherhood of Monks? The royal hetman has his ways and means. The royal hetman and his servants have their ways. Besides, it's our duty to keep track of goings-on in the province, apart from the cloisters, of course. I heard that particular story from a novice that the brothers were sending out to get wine for them. It seems the royal hetman and his servants are exceptionally observant. And can you tell me the name of the novice you heard this from? Oh, God. Let's say that it was... Oh God, I can't remember. Siskin? Siskin. I don't know. Hmm. There is a novice of that name at the monastery. I was just remember, I trying to remember to a name to of a novice. About these matters. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. If you have nothing else to tell me, you may leave. I'm not going to tell you any, uh, not no those those two I like these women and I like Father Godwin I'm not going to tell you about Monsignor. it. All right Henry, thank you. And I hope you're not keeping anything from me. I hope you're not keeping anything from me. Oh wait. What's What's wrong? Did you only come here on your account Oh, here. Monsignor. Johanka is just a simple village girl from Scalis. Are all these legal proceedings really necessary? They are. The mission of the Inquisition is quite unequivocal. And however trivial, this matter has a broader significance. What broader significance? No offense, but these things can't easily be explained to an uneducated boy like you. Ah, oh, damn it. Still, I'm pleased that you take an interest. I, I Unfortunately, do. Unfortunately, I don't have time for this now. If you really want to know more, ask my assistant. After oh. all... It is also our duty to guide others through the labyrinth of this world. I shall do that. Hold on. I'm going to ask your right. assistant just in case there's something. Wait, where is your assistant? Are you? Ah, you are. What do you need? The bishop told me this business with Johanka has a wider context and that you tell me about it. Oh, very well. If the bishop says so. Look, it's like this. The world as a whole is not in a good state. For decades, How people optimistic. have been perishing from a terrible sickness, the Black Death. There's an anti-pope in Avignon in France who defies the authority of the throne of St. Peter. The people are frightened. Many of the nobles, instead of caring for peace on earth, are warring one against another. The authority of many monarchs, and even the emperor, is unfortunately too weak to put things to rights. Many scholars have even started to question established truths, and various contentious teachings have appeared, such as those of the Englishman, Wycliffe. Black Death? The Black Death. Do I need all of this information plague, for her tra my child. trial? A dreadful disease that claimed countless lives. 
By the grace of God, these parts were not much afflicted, but it took a terrible toll in the surrounding countries. First, the Italian ports were stricken, Venice and Genoa, and then nearly the whole of Christendom. Some regard it as God's punishment for our sins, or even a sign of the approaching parousia. Paro what? The parousia, the second coming of Christ. The day when he returns to this world will mark the end of the ages. The dead will rise, and all people will face final judgment for their sins. Oh. Do you think that's going to happen? Most assuredly. But God alone knows when that will be. Oh. I hope it won't be too soon. The anti-pope? Unfortunately, that's a very serious and unpleasant topic. In short, alongside the legitimate pope, the Bishop of Rome and successor to St. Peter, another was elected and is usurping the highest glory of being Christ's representative here on earth. This is a most lamentable schism for the whole church and... The Avignon usurper must be compelled to give up his unlawfully acquired office. So the church and the whole of Christendom may again be unified. So there are two popes? Not quite. There is only one. But there are those who refuse to recognize him. The election wasn't correct and valid and... I apologize. It wasn't wise to speak to you of this. It will only confuse you all the more. Better forget it. We <laughs> won't talk about it anymore. Church politics. Got it. I mean, what, what, what does it all mean? I just but want the lowdown. What has it got to do with your hunker? As I say, the order of the world is shaken. Division is spreading, and confusion and iniquity thrive. It's the handiwork of Lucifer, who wants to lay waste to God's creation. Many have succumbed to his false truths and spread them to others. That's why we must be alert to his snares, especially in these times. Be wary of false prophets and stick to the path of the true faith and personal virtue. There's a charlatan here and Johanka? And Johanka? Just so. I fear she too may have been ensnared by Lucifer's deceptions and the false belief that she's been visited by the Blessed Virgin. These machinations of the devil must be faced and stamped out before they take root and cause more evil. But we must not despair. Even those who have strayed from the right path may be redeemed. And that's why your hunker's case is important. Although... It may not be immediately apparent. I understand. Hmm. I'm worried if I don't ask about this stuff. Scholars. And what about these scholars? That's complicated. Some reject the authority of the Pope or the Church. Others dispute over the legitimacy of government or the nature of the world. Others rebel against teachings. All of them seek all sorts of arguments and explanations to support their claims and argue with others. All this contributes to uncertainty. One doubt leads to another, and soon heretical ideas take hold. Ah. Uh huh. But don't concern yourself. These are weighty matters for others who are learned in such things. Of course. Hmm. Why does it still say the emperor? You mentioned the emperor. Was it the pope? God wants unity, a universal order of the world. The pope, Christ's deputy, and the emperor, the supreme earthly ruler, crowned by the pope himself, were instituted in order to preside over that unity. Unfortunately, the gleam of the imperial crown has become somewhat dull and his authority is no longer as absolute as it once was. What's worse, his election has become a political game involving many princes, and for a long time, the emperor himself 
has paid less attention to the affairs of the Christian world and more to his own concerns. I see. Peace on Earth? Peace on Earth. Yes. Sadly, many countries are torn apart by strife and destroyed by war. In the lands of the English, the French, the Italians, in the Holy Roman Empire, Christians are raising their weapons against other Christians. Love for our neighbor has given way to the pursuit of mammon and high office. They plot against each other to gain advantage. You've seen it yourself, right here in Bohemia, and even in Sassau. Yes, and in Scalitz. Indeed, my son. Regrettably. I wonder if I could use any of what he said here. Thanks. Let's see. That peace on earth thing, anymore. Christian against Christian, we could be like, oh, she's a very Christian Bye. woman. We can't, we can't harm her. I don't know. Ooh. I'm worried that I haven't, if I haven't told him about Father Godwin and the girls, the, the ladies in the woods, this will come back to haunt me. Let's just start this trial. I feel like this, these things, I've already asked him about this, but if I say the Virgin Mary visits her, I might piss him off. And I'm not going to duel him. I've done all I could. I'm ready, Monsignor. I've done all I could that I think is Excellent. within reason. I, I don't also know. Completed my investigation. Oh, good. We, we completed it at the same time. I'm ready. Yeah. Good. I will send for everyone who is to bear witness and have Johanka brought before the court. We'll commence first thing tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. One more thing. These are solemn proceedings that demand a certain decorum. I won't tolerate any clanking armor or otherwise inappropriate attire. Okay. We'll wear this robe. Of course. Thank you, Monsignor. Very well. Rest now, and we'll meet in the morning. Take care. Time to be a lawyer. Okay, Lawyer Henry. I wear many hats. Oh, Johanka. She looks terrible. Let us begin. Okay, just have to be honest. I have to defend Johanka. And I have to really try appease his Christian values, like really do not I, piss off the Bishop. Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshov, okay. by the grace of God, Papal Inquisitor, have come here to Sassau in response to reports of Marian visitations and the preaching activities of one Johanka, a commoner. And I have found indeed that by her arbitrary word, she's been leading good people astray and encouraging what? their rebellion against their betters. Furthermore, Johanka has attempted to usurp the glory that belongs alone to Holy Mother Church and to appoint herself as an intermediary of the wisdom and grace of Almighty God. This does not behove any lay person, and certainly not a woman. It is therefore necessary to remedy her transgressions and to investigate the extent and the basis of her misguidance. Or, as the case may be, heresy. Henry of Scarlet's has elected to appear here in Johanka's defense, and his wish has been allowed. Anyone who elects to speak here does so before God, and shall be bound by a most sacred oath to speak only the truth. Only the truth. Got I it. will first hear the testimony of Father Fabian, who sent me word of this matter, and who should best know of what deeds are done did. in his parish. Of freaking course he did. Father Fabian, will you tell us what Johanka has been proclaiming? Johanka claims that she has received visitations from Our Lady, the Holy Mother of God, 
who speaks to her in the night. It is an outrageous claim that I hold to be entirely untrue. And did Johanka come forward to ask your advice regarding these alleged apparitions? She did not. Instead, she took it upon herself to spread her supposed wisdom to the people. And prior to this, did Johanka attend church? Did you see her at your sermons, Father? I did not, Monsignor. I believe Johanka is deliberately avoiding the church. Instead, she meets her followers secretly in the woods and preaches to them. What? Either she made everything up, or the devil himself is whispering in her ear. Uh, Johanka's op apparitions are real. Uh, yeah. If I may, Monsignor, I'm going to the just Virgin Mary really screw does that guy. speak to Johanka. Is that so? And on what do you found this claim? Uh, it couldn't be the devil. Johanka lives at the monastery, doesn't she? Close to the cave of St. Procopius. St. Procopius, yeah. who overpowered the devil and cast him down, did he not? The evil one would hardly dare return to the dominion of the saints to whisper in Johanka's ear. Surely that's obvious. It's true, Henry. An evil spirit, or even Lucifer himself, would have little power in the vicinity of the remains of St. Procopius. But the fact that she lives at the monastery doesn't mean that she is not misguided. What's more, she is an interloper there herself, who would not even be tolerated if it weren't for Brother Nicodemus. Yes, Father. I am aware of the impropriety of her presence in the monastery grounds. But in this, I must concur with Henry. Yes. Call Pavel. Monsignor, would you please hear the testimony of the respected burgher Pavel of Colleen? He will testify that Johanka isn't making anything up. Well, I'm very curious what this Pavel will tell us. Call Pavel of Colleen. And we donated to the church. With his money. I'm a little surprised to find a counselor of Colleen here. Especially you, who makes no secret of your animosity towards Sassau Monastery. True. Although I have only criticized the monastery in secular matters of property, which concerned a dispute with the town of Colleen and therefore my duties as a counselor. Pavel, please tell us about your recent experience. I'm all ears, Goodman. Monsignor, some years ago I hid some money in Sassau Woods. When I found myself here again recently and heard Johanka's words, I remembered that matter. Johanka made me aware of my inordinate love of wealth, and I resolved to donate the money in question for the common good of Sassau. For this, I needed an honest intermediary who would locate the money. In this too, Johanka helped me by putting me in touch with Henry here. By the grace of God, he found the long-lost treasure and donated it for the good of Sassau. The whole matter I regard as the intervention of the Holy Spirit. An interesting tale, Goodman Pavel. Not only that, it's also evidence of divine providence and that Johanka isn't making anything up. She wasn't possessed by an evil spirit. On the contrary, Our Lady really did speak to her. I must concur with that, Monsignor, because I was subsequently also visited in a dream by the Virgin Mary. What? <laughs> you too? <laughs> yes. She appeared in a blue cloak and waved to me. Do you swear that what you say is true, Pavel? I swear by Almighty God, Monsignor. Remarkable. Truly His remarkable. His mind is blown. Very well, Goodman. Thank you for your testimony. You may stand down. Okay. I'm just gonna, like, rise to the defense. Even if it were true, why would Our Lady choose a simple village girl like Johanka? My God. Sight Matthew. Monsignor, with your oh, permission, the book. I'd the like book. to draw attention to the work of the great scholar Matthew of Yanov. He exalted women like Johanka. He said that God created what is weak in order to bring shame on what is strong. That's why God turns to hell? women who love Christ <laughs> and blesses them with such visions, so that they can point out and rectify the vanities of men. It can't be heresy if the learned masters of universities write such tracts. What you say is remarkable. Matthew's work, which you mentioned, does speak to Johanka's benefit. But I wouldn't have expected that someone of your station has even heard of the Master of Yanov. 
How did you come by his work? Oh. Well, Johanka pressed me to go on a pilgrimage of repentance. I went to Ujitz, where there is a Marian church, and there, the parish priest gave me a copy of the text. That's surprising indeed. Especially that you are at all capable of reading such a work and understanding it. I'm a smart boy. You're quite boy. a fountain of unexpected skills, Henry. Thank you, Monsignor. Oh, Let's thanks. proceed then. Is there anything else you want to add, Henry? Uh, Brother Nicodemus. Yes. Please call Brother Nicodemus. He has something to say about it. He's a man of learning and knows more about these things than I do. Certainly. I also wish to hear his testimony. Call him. It sounds like we're doing okay. Nicodemus, for some time you were insisting that the infirmary needed extra pairs of hands. It was only at your request that Johanka, against all accepted custom, was allowed inside the monastery walls. I've already spoken to Abbot Peter about her, but please tell me how Johanka behaved. Monsignor, I must stand behind your hanker. The girl is a treasure. Selfless, charitable, and good-hearted. She helped more people here than anyone else. I have never seen her do anything that would contradict the behavior of a good Christian. She never discussed questions of faith with me. She was always focused only on her work, which she carried out impeccably. And afterwards, when she began making claims of Marian apparitions? Yes. Yes. That's quite an extraordinary thing. The things she preached couldn't have come from any of the brothers, or from books, because she can't read. Therefore, I believe the Blessed Virgin really spoke to her. Nonsense. She made the whole thing up. This guy's so or jealous. Or someone did prompt her. You're very keen to defend her, brother. It makes me wonder whether she didn't get oh her wisdom God. from you. I already I'm said she got none up. of it from me, and I would never lie before Almighty God. But it seems to me it's the inadequate education of the good parish priest here that's behind his flimsy litany. What? Agree. Am I to be criticized by someone who's more a gardener than a scholar? <gasps> Father Fabian, let Nicodemus speak. How rude. And you... Nicodemus, stick to the point, if you please. Certainly, Monsignor. Please allow this humble guard nice, to nice. put the good priest right, because he evidently knows nothing of the fact that other women before Johanka had similar experiences. Blessed Hildegard of Bingen also had similar visions. And what about St. Bridget, or Elizabeth of Schernau, or Catherine of Siena? Like them, Johanka here only humbly spreads the message of Our Lady. She does not present herself as an intermediary of divine mercy. Please do not condemn your hunker, Bishop Yaroslav. In my judgment, her visions are genuine and her words sincere. Thank you, Nicodemus. Your plea is very bold. But what you say about Hildegard and the others is true. You can rest assured. I will consider your words very carefully. Ooh, it sounds like we're doing good, actually. Fabian, have you had trouble with heretics before, or had any suspicions of heresy here? Not much, Monsignor. Now and then, there have been traveling preachers and various charlatans here and there. Although, I did recently get reports that uh -oh. there were members of the Waldensian sect hiding in the province. Uh-oh. Waltensians? So there have been heretics concealed here. So, it cannot be ruled out that Johanka also associated with them. Perhaps they are even behind this matter, too. Thank you, Father Fabian. That's all. I'm glad to have been of service, Monsignor. I thank you also, Brother Nicodemus. You too may stand down. Call Hoshek. Bailiff of Sassau. Oh, I don't know what the bailiff's gonna say. I really hope that he stands out for Johanka. I'm not sure. He didn't really give me much to go on. Bailiff, has there been any suspicious activity here recently? Uh oh. Well, there have been cumins on the rampage in the woods and on the roads. 
and all sorts of bands of footpads and brigands around the province. But otherwise, it's all been peaceful and quiet here, Monsignor. How reassuring. And what of your hunk up, Elif? Has she been inciting the people here? I couldn't tell you much about her. I hardly know her. She hasn't broken any laws, and folks speak well of her, for the most part. Okay, Although good. it's true, things have been a bit tense here, on account of her speeches. Continue. Quite a lot of people have been going to her since she started with that preaching. Some are even convinced she's a holy woman. From what I heard, they bring her small gifts or ask for her advice or blessing. Sacrilege! People coming for blessings and bringing her gifts. That has all the makings oh, of a no. cult. Oh, I don't know, Monsignor. Begging your pardon, but that's overstating it a bit. But it's true. They met outside town, too, and it came to a bit of a skirmish. Yeah. Nothing serious happened, though. Fellas punching each other in the mouth. If you'll excuse me, Monsieur, that happens all the time. Well, that's about all I can tell you, Monsignor. Thank you, Bailiff. I will be all. And you, Henry, you've been around your hunker more than anyone. Do people come to her for blessings? Yeah, but she doesn't... Johanka doesn't bless anyone. Well, they come to her, yes. But I swear she never blessed anyone. But when someone comes to her, she tries to help them, like a good Christian. Henry, I'm sure you're aware that to lie here is a mortal sin and a crime. I am not lying. I do. And I'm not lying. All right. Anything else? Call Guta. Yes, Monsignor. Johanka so helped Guta, tear her down. the tailor's wife. Please hear her testimony. She's the one that incited those people. You'll see that Johanka is a good Christian. Very well. I promised I'd hear your witnesses. Call this Guta. Then we'll call Adela next. But I wanted to show him who is inciting the violence. It's this lady. Guta, you witnessed Johanka's first sermon. What did she speak of? About how we should be virtuous and not sinful. And then you went to see Johanka, didn't you? I did, Monsignor. I, oh, I wanted not her. to ask Sorry. her for help, and she did. I was praying for my husband for a long time and begging God to help him. And I believe my prayers were answered, and he sent Johanka to us. Hmm. And there were others who came to her seeking help? Yes, Monsignor. There were. And that shrine, and the gifts. People brought them to Johanka so she'd help them? I couldn't tell you. But she helped me. Without any of that. Didn't you bring her any gifts? Well, yes, but that was after. Just some old cloth for bandages and bed covers, so she could help others like she helped me. Every evening, I pray for Johanka and thank the Blessed Virgin for sending her to us. I see. Thank you. You may go. I'd like you to listen to Adela. She amended her life and doesn't live in sin anymore. All Hell because yeah. of Johanka. Johanka helped saved people that woman. selflessly, not for any benefit. And Adela can testify to that. All right. Bring this Adela. Adela. Until recently, you were living in the nearby town of Ledechko, is that so? Y yes And how did you make a living there? Oh no. I, I served at the baths, laundering and repairing clothes, and preparing the baths. Is that all? No. Sometimes I went with the fellas and, and um, pleasured them for money. But I don't do it anymore, I swear. I changed my ways on account of Johanka and Henry here, and now I lead a decent life. You're saying you simply gave up your... profession? Yes. Henry convinced me, and Johanka took me in. Very well. Thank you. And since you left Ledechko, have you sinned with anyone? No, nope. Monsieur, I haven't. Yeah, I'm proud of you, Good. girl. May God give you the will to maintain your newfound virtue, Adela. And now, 
Please answer one more question. You're living with a Yohanka now, yes? Tell me what she says to the people who come to her. Well, they come with all sorts of problems. Some want just advice. Some want her maybe to bless them or talk to Our Lady for them. They believe she's a holy woman. So, Yohanka accepts gifts from these people and then gives them her blessing? No, it's not like that. Yohanka doesn't bless anyone. And she doesn't want any gifts from anyone either. Folk just bring them. The things they bring, she gives them out to the sick and wounded. She doesn't keep anything, I swear. You swear? Yes, I swear to it all, Monseigneur. I'd never lie to you. All right, you may go. Now I wish to question Katra, the swordsmith's wife. Oh, this is the woman bring I was thinking here. of. Oh, this one. I'm gonna tear her a new one. She was inciting violence. I hate this lady. Katra, you are a respected townswoman who has <laughs> a good overview of what goes on in Sassau. As you told me earlier, will you tell me now what you know of Johanka and her deeds? Yes, I'll tell you everything, Monsignor. Johanka has been putting ideas into people's heads and causing chaos. What right has she to preach to us? A simple girl like that. As if we were bad people here. And she herself is a sinner. And an adulterer. A loose woman she is, who goes with anyone. And even fornicated with a custodian, Sir Sebastian. I'm glad that I told him about it. She's not telling you everything. Forgive me, Monsignor, but Katra isn't telling the whole truth. What do you mean, Henry? She's the one who set a band of thugs on Johanka several times to cause trouble for her and threaten her. She wanted to drive Johanka out of town. That's not the deed of a good Christian, plotting intrigues like that. Look at her she nodding like, yep, I did it. <laughs> Is that true? I, uh, I only did what was necessary to stop her from bringing us to harm. Monsignor, you can see yourself that Katra holds a grudge against Johanka. Yes. I must Hell agree with Henry. Yeah. In view of your apparent antagonism towards Johanka, whatever the reasons for it, I cannot allow you to influence these proceedings. Toss her out. You should have reported your concerns to Father Fabian instead of acting willfully as you did. Mm -hmm. But she's bringing us nothing but trouble. I will be the judge of her transgressions, not you. Toss her Nevertheless, out. I have also heard rumors of Johanka's immorality that cannot be ignored. Bring here the Sassar custodian, Sir Sebastian Ooh, von Berg. What do we say here? This one I'm worried about because it did happen and Sir Sebastian is super into her. Sir Sebastian, my apologies for raising the matter, but doubts have been cast on your virtue. I have been told that you have shared your bed with Johanka. Is it true? Monsignor, with respect, this is surely some mistake. Johanka is not a bad girl and by no means a heretic. Noted. Now please answer my question. Did you share your bed with Johanka or not? Uh. Come on, be truthful, man. Don't lie. Don't lie. Yes. Good. But she's not... Silence! So, Johanka not only incites rebellion against the nobles, but also seduces them into sin and immorality. Whoa, the, the custodian took advantage of her. Yeah. That's not true. Johanka never seduced anyone. It's the other way round. He wouldn't leave her alone from the moment she came to Sassau. He simply took advantage of her misfortune and his own status to get her into bed. How dare you! Silence! <laughs> He's mad at me again. Henry? Johanka regrets it. What was she to do when she was constantly pursued by a nobleman who has great influence in the area? What I did, I did out of love for her. Johanka is no heretic, only a confused, unhappy young girl. There's no call for jumping to the conclusion of heresy. Monsignor, you must be able to see that. I advise caution, sir. Would you cast doubt on the authority of the church in this trial? 
I will no longer tolerate this humiliation. Whoa. Get out of my way. Whoa. He's pissed. Whoa. Is he staying or leaving? Henry? <laughs> You proved yourself a good servant of the church when you told me of your disturbing findings concerning the situation hereabouts. You've been very keen to appear here in Johanka's defense. Awesome. You've said yes. a lot about her, but please tell me why you've been helping her all this time. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, she's not heretical. I have to say she's my, the, because of her deeds. Because I don't know anyone like her. She endured what would destroy most people and never gave up. She never wasted time feeling sorry for herself. Instead, she helped others, even at the cost of her own suffering. And she helped to redeem me, too. It's a pity everyone isn't like her. It seems you speak sincerely, and you hold her in high regard. Your sincerity before God carries great weight. Thank you. I hope I said the that right thing. All, Henry. I don't know whether I should have said something about the Virgin Mary present a clever argument. Monsignor, please permit me to say one more thing. I heard some wise words at a sermon in Scalis, and I think I should share them here. Okay, what, what are these words? It's our words? Christian duty to fight against sin, but we must love the sinner. So I beg you, Monsignor, be lenient to Johanka. You're right, Henry. Those are wise words. Nothing remains but to question Johanka herself. Oh, God. Oh, please, Johanka, please just relax and just chill. Johanka of We're Scarlet. doing so well. Just chill. You've heard the accusations brought against you, and we have also heard several testimonies. I already questioned you earlier. Johanka, do you wish to revise the answers you gave earlier? <sighs> Come on, Johanka. do you stand by what you said? I stand by everything I told you. So be it. I expressly forbade you to continue preaching, and you promised not to do so. You defied my instruction and broke your promise. Why? Forgive me, Monsignor, but I could do nothing else. Our Lady asked me to do it, and I couldn't refuse her. Okay. And I did the right thing. Okay. The Virgin Mary visited me again in my cell. And showed me new things. Oh, girl, keep that to yourself. Oh, and prelates no. who took off their robes and put on princely cloaks instead. Oh, girl, calm down. They threw down their staves, buckled on swords, and placed crowns on their heads. Okay, she's gonna be hanged. Oh, look at me, just like they hope rejected dying. They Christ's example and hoarded wealth for themselves. Ah, that's they taking too far. They paid no heed to the people, but only gave them absolution for money and. Oh my God. Ah. You will not speak like that. I have already heard more than enough. These proceedings are closed. You may leave. Oh, no. Johanka will now hear my verdict. Oh, she's gonna get hanged or burned at the stake or I don't know. Oh, no. She couldn't just keep chill. Just one word answer is enough. Johanka. Are you aware you're facing very grave accusations? Yes, Monsignor. I am. I <gasps> stand accused of preaching from ignorance and leading the people away from the protective embrace of Holy Mother Church. Oh no. If you do not recant, you will suffer grave consequences. Right. Clouded her reason. Child. It would distress me greatly to have to pronounce a verdict of condemnation. No, 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 no. Speak then. Do you recant your sermons and swear never again to preach to the people? And are you prepared to repent? Oh no, is that Herman? As God is my witness, I did all this with good intentions. And I will never preach to the people again. Huh? I recant everything I preached. Oh God, I, I got really emotional for a moment. I thought she was gonna... Christians again. 
I will do whatever you <sighs> command to make amends for my sins. Behold, Yohanka's soul too have we brought back from the dark labyrinth of the evil one and into the divine oh light of our Lord Jesus Christ. But the remnants of Satan's evil influence linger in her yet and must be cast out in the name of Almighty God. Take her. She's gonna be okay, right? Because I got really concerned there when I saw her, the executioner. We must all Wait. be ever vigilant of Lucifer's evil designs and avoid being caught in his snares. Only Holy Mother Church can safeguard all Christian folks from the onslaught of the devil. Only Holy Mother Church cares for their souls so they may find salvation in the kingdom of heaven. <gasps> They're gonna still punish her? Oh. Of grace. The Lord is with thee. Like a stupid Katra woman. Oh. Oh my god. Behold, Lucifer has been defeated. Yohanka has been free from his malign influence. Now she will take refuge in the sanctuary of the convent, where she will be guided on the righteous path back to our Lord Jesus Christ. She's going to be locked away? She's helping people pleased. here. This is not justice at all. I thought this guy would be reasonable. I thought the bishop sounded quite reasonable, and he was he was following along with what I said, and he still punished her and locked her away? This is bullshit. Matthias soon recovered from his illness, but when he went to look for Johanka, he oh, found fuck. only an empty room. Although she'd been cleared of the charge of heresy, she had to leave with the Inquisitor to enter a convent and do penance for her sins. And all that Matthias had left of her was a bittersweet memory. Oh. God alone knows if either of us will ever see her again. Oh my god. Can we break her out? Fuck this. I'm so angry. I'm so I'm so mad. Like I'm I'm my hands are partially shaking by that. Like What the hell? He was agreeing with me. The the bishop, the inquisitor was agreeing with me. Like he was agreeing. It so he, she was still he decided already he was going to punish her. Is Ma is Ma Matthias here? Good day, Henry. Oh my god, Matthias! How are you doing, Matthias? All right, I suppose. Depends how you look at it. Uh, I'm well. Still alive, as you can see. Which can't be taken for granted after everything that happened to me. But I'm still grieving for your hunger. We I keep asking myself if it's just that I'm still here. Well, she... Well, you know. It was the will. No, none of these I want to say. Convent life is peaceful. Yeah, but she's locked away. I don't want to say this. Screw that. Screw you, virgin. Blessed virgin. Johanka is fine. Maybe better off than here. No, I don't like She'll any of She'll have a peaceful these. life in the convent. Serving God. I know. It's just... I just regret that she's not here with us. I'd like to see her again. Yeah. So would I. What will you do now? So... What are you going to do now, Matthias? Uh, I wish I knew. For now, I'll work in the monastery grounds. Maybe even on the construction. Until they throw me out. What? They don't want to let you stay here? Well, 
It seems the abbot isn't happy about so many lay people right outside the monastery walls. Brother Nicodemus is trying to put in a word for me and Adela. But the abbot can be very obstinate. He wasn't happy about your hunker being here at all. And then, with all that happened after... I understand. So what will you do if you have to leave? I really don't know. I'll stay, until harvest at least. There'll be plenty of work. And then... I'll see. Maybe I can find a job somewhere around here. But more likely I'll go away to other parts, if I can save some money. After all that's happened here, I'll probably be better off leaving this province far behind me. If I don't end up a vagrant. This is a really sad story. The village of Privetslavets. I might have something for you. Sir Divish appointed me bailiff of Privetslavets. When you finish here with the harvest, you could go there. There'll be lots of work for a clever fella like you. Jesus, Henry. You've really come up in the world? That would be great. Thanks. I'll go there, right after harvest. It's good to know I'll have a place for the winter. I won't forget you for this, Henry. And for everything you've done. See you later. Johanka's quest is a heartbreaking one, that's for sure. I've... I'm, like, I'm so, so mad. What was the... Is there an, even a way to save her? Because it seemed like the bishop, even if I was doing really well, I feel like I nailed those arguments. I I was there bringing the right people to testify, and we had we had a lot of good accounts from other people. I was... I feel like we, we, we had it. He was agreeing with me. Is there a way... It, it, is she going to get punished regardless? Is there, like, no hope for her at all? Because that's just... That's bullshit. This bullshit. I really thought, like, I, I was feeling it, right? Like, we were like, oh, yeah, we're gonna nail it. We, we've got it. And then nothing. She was still sent off into a convent. I mean, it could have been worse. She could have been... been judged a heretic, right? And then she would have burned or hanged or something. I don't know. Is that it? Just picking between those two punishments. Imprisoned for the rest of her life in a convent or burning at the stake? That guy already made up his choice, huh? He made up his mind. Unless unless it was because I did not tell Johanka to silence herself, but I was not prepared to do that because that's not that's not something that I feel like I should do. If she didn't want to say I tried, I tried to make her see reason, but she didn't want to, and she was my friend and I couldn't do that. I'm really upset. So we're gonna end the episode while I'm upset. And when we come back, we will speak to this Conrad who I'm really excited about meeting because everyone's saying how brilliant and, and weird he is. So I'm really excited for that and it will be a good palate cl cleanser. And then that's it, guys. That's it. We're just going to make a, a run for the end of the game because these things I haven't really focused on. But yeah, until then, take care.